Hello and welcome to this Terrain Composer 2 presets tutorial. Presets in Terrain Composer um, are prefabs and you can make prefabs of layers, of nodes, of layer groups and you can save them by drag and drop them to the project folder which I will show you now and you can load them by drag and dropping them from the project folder into the Terrain Composer window. It's that easy. So now I loaded the example, which has a nice splat map. And I'm going to make a new layer group by right clicking. And then I'm going to group these. And then we can give our layer group a name, call it Mountain Island. And then first you need to drag and drop it into the hierarchy. And then from the hierarchy, we can drag and drop it into the project. And then a prefab is automatically created by Unity. So if we delete this and we reset the splat map and I scroll up to load it back, just drag and drop. And there it is. It's that simple. For saving, make sure you first drag and drop into the hierarchy window. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Now I'm going to show you some height map examples. So from the presets you can easily construct a new terrain. So this is a layer group and you can see I can move things individually around. I can duplicate it with Ctrl D, rotate. cool thing is about Terrain Composer is that everything is groupable. So now I select the whole, can move it to the back, scale a little bit down. And let's uh, load another preset. Terrain Composer's layer system is very similar to Photoshop. So basically you can uh, group layers into a folder, which I call a layer group. And these different layer groups, again, you can group into another folder, another layer group. So, and then you can set the interaction between the layers and the layer groups. So now I put it to max, which means that the maximum height is chosen. So the biggest mountain will show. I'm going to show you now how to group these layer groups. I added another layer group with right clicking and I just drag and drop the layer groups inside and I can move the pivot by locking the children and now I can move it as a whole. Scale it up and down and rotate it Okay, let's add another preset. This is a procedural one and as you see it uh, covers the entire terrain. So I'm going to mask this. Quick plus to add a node and default is always a circle. And I have a nice mask shape for this as a stamp. So I put that there. Uh, the red means that it goes above the terrain height, above 1, so we can normalize this with the curve. So let's move it a little bit around, and let's rotate it a bit. Okay, then we add one more. So basically you can save any node, mask node, layer and layer group to a preset and you can then load it again like I show here. Now we can uh, select the totality and scale this up. Terrain Composer uh, generates in world space. So what it means, you can just add more terrain tiles if it gets too small to make it bigger and the result that Terrain Composer generates is exactly the same. Also, you can reduce the terrain tiles without any issues. So now I'm going to create some more uh, splat variations. 
So these are splat texture presets I made consisting out of several layers. So uh, we can mask it, again the circle will appear, and we can move that around, normalize it to let the red disappear. And we use a nice mask shape for it to have a nice fall off. So we have grassland there on the right. Let's add another preset. You can copy a node by Alt, click, drag and drop. So we have desert in the top. Now we have three biomes. Let's add another one. So we have four different types of splat texturing. And we duplicate the mask again with Alt and just move it to the bottom. Make sure you have normalized enabled on the main splat node. This will prevent overbright uh, values. Let's add some trees. So there you can see the total. And with the opacity, you can uh, remove the tree amount. You can scale them up. You can scale each individually or as a group. I use a Perlin mask on top. The trees are only placed on the green splat textures. So now let's scale them up a little bit. Let's add some grass presets. I have a few and uh, we're going to add one for the desert where we have pale grass. And I have another preset for with flowers and green grass for the green splat textures. Okay, let's add an object preset. These are uh, rocks and a building. Disable this circle mask and reduce the amount. The buildings have an invisible um, capsule mesh that you can see in the preview. It's really flat. This is for uh, use for masking to flatten the terrain and you can basically use it on any output like I have this preset for it here. So where the capsule is the sand texture will be placed. And then for the height map uh, I have this preset where it flattens the terrain. This is a very cool feature of Terrain Composer. So it's able to see any mesh and adapts the terrain to it. going to increase the buildings a bit. Let's position the first person controller. And you can see that in a few minutes you can create a very nice terrain out of a few presets. I'm going to higher the resolutions and then let's take a look. So presets makes it really easy to reuse your stems, your trees, your objects, your grass. Now for the trees there are too many pines and that's because the slider is at the top. If I reset it then we get the same amount of each. Then let's enable the fog. The color is a little bit too dark so I rescan it. You can sample from the skybox gives the best result and let's take a look. So this is what you can get with Terrain Composer 2 out of the box with just a few minutes of playing with the presets. If you have more speed trees, more rocks, more buildings, it can all look much more interesting. I will show this in my demo, so then I will use image effects, RTP terrain shading, time of day, 
and play with water like I do in the trailer okay that's it thank you for watching and see you in the next video